Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. O I A A A A A Ha. Are you here? Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. We are going to do something really cool today. And at this point, it just feels like I'm copying Black Pen, Red Pen all the damn time. But I'm not. I just want to provide you guys with different cool little math problems and topics. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to calculate the i root of i today and i to the i power. And I would like to start off with the letter one. It's really warm in here and this is stealing my breath away. <sighs> you boys are stealing my breath. You are so cool. You are breathtaking. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get started with i to the i power. And this is imaginary to the imaginary power and the end result is going to be quite exciting. It's going to be quite weird actually. <laughs> okay, so remember how we can actually express any kind of number differently? Well, by using e to the ln of this thing, it's just the same because e and the natural log is going to cancel out in the end. Because we can't really work with this right here at the moment, it's really quite weird. So why not express this as e to the natural log of i to the i power. And you see the cool thing is, we can use natural log properties to bring this power to the outside. And now we've got this. And where you can express it as the cosine of natural log of i plus i times sine of natural log of i. But to be honest, what the fuck is natural log of i? So we have to do a bit more work. <laughs> what a great reference. So let's take a look at the complex plane for once. Our best friend, our 2D boy, our most favorite 2D boy. So you see, we can express every complex number in the form of z being equal to r times e to the i phi, where r is just the length of our vector in the complex plane. So if we have this vector right here, where the tip, just the tip, is going to represent our complex number, and the length of this thing is our r. And well, phi is the angle being enclosed by our vector, you could say, and our real axis, where this thing right here is the real axis. With this out of the way, we can actually get started because where is our i located? Well, on the imaginary axis. And the cool thing is this thing is on the unit circle exactly. So the radius of the vector, which points to i, this thick boy right here, oh my goodness, this is so thick, is going to be just one. So it does make sense. It's just one, you can try it out for yourself. Okay, so we know that we can express our i as, well, e to the i phi of some sort, but what exactly is the angle phi being enclosed by our, by our vector right here and this rear axis? Well, at the moment it's just pi over 2, it does make sense, so this is 90 degrees. But we are not done yet at the moment, so we can still go counterclockwise or clockwise. So let's go counterclockwise a little bit, because we can reach this point up here once again by just going, well, 2 pi over 2, 3, 4, 5 pi over 2 once again. Hey, Coolio, we are at i once again. But why stop there? Why not go on to 9 pi over 2 or 13 pi over 2? But we are not done yet, because, well, what we can also do, we can go to counterclockwise. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 pi over 2. And we are not done yet, so go around once more, negative 7 pi over 2, and so on. So our phi is going to take infinitely many values. Of which form? Well, the form of phi is exactly, well, 4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. I've got disturbed once again. Yeah, so this is just the form of our phi, so you can check for yourself. If you plug 0 into here, in this k, you get the principal branch, pi over 2. If you plug negative 1 into here, you are going to get this. And you can easily observe that k needs to be element of the integers. It just does work out. So it is what it is, and we have found a, an expression for phi at the moment. So that means i is now nothing but e to the i times 4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. But don't forget our main goal. We wanted to find out the natural log of i, actually. So why not take the natural log on both sides? You can take the principal log, this log with the capital L to get the principal branch, but we don't want that. We want to go for all the values of the natural log of i. So, if we take the ln of i, we are going to end up with the ln of this whole thing, but the natural log and e is going to cancel out, naturally. <laughs> so we are just going to end up with this argument itself. i times 4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. Hey, coolio, we can plug this in, so this is really quite cool. So we end up with e to the i times i, 
4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. And here's the really cool thing. By definition, i times i is going to be negative 1. We are keeping it real, my dudes and dudettes. <laughs> so we get e to the negative. 4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. And there we go. This already does the trick, so this is really quite cool. Imaginary to the imaginary power is going to end up in something real. So that's quite beautiful in infinitely many real values at that. That's so Gucci. And well, why not talk about the i fruit of i for a moment? So what exactly is the i fruit of i? So if you know a thing or two about roots, you know that we can express roots in terms of powers. That's one of the definitions. So this is i to the 1 over i power. But we are not done yet. We are not even close to being done because we can advance this 1 over i, this fraction by i over i. This is just a 1 in the limit. And well, <laughs> i and i is going to be negative 1. So overall, this is i to the negative i's power. And another cool power property is that we can bring this negative 1 as a new power to the front, you could say. So factoring out this power. So we get i to the i power to the negative 1 power. It does work, so this makes it multiplicative, writing it like this. And well, i to the i power, we have evaluated this. So we get this expression right here, but just with a sign turned around, because we are going to multiply it by negative 1. So overall, this is going to evaluate to e to the 4k plus 1 over 2 times pi. And then we are done. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel to everyone you know. Activate the bell button, share those videos everywhere. And you can support the channel in many ways. I'm not going to tell you in what ways. And well, up until the next video, have an imaginary day, I guess. No, we were keeping it real. Keep it real, my dudes. See ya. Legend here, but where is here and whose mass is it?